Welcome to Coco's 2D Tutorials, brought to you by Bob Euland. For more information, go to bobeuland.com slash Coco's 2D. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make scenes. We will make three scenes. A starting scene, which we will call Hello World. A loading scene, which we will call load. And a game scene, which we will call game. We will start with the starting scene. And when the user touches the start game item, he is transferred to the load scene, where the game resources start to load in. And as they do so, a progress bar starts to grow. When all the resources are loaded in, we are automatically transferred to the game scene, where the user can play the game. And when he is done, he touches the end game item and he is transferred back to the starting scene, where he can begin a new game if he wants to. Let's see how this is done in Xcode. We are inside Xcode. Let's examine our starting point. In our resources we have two images, bar.png and camel.png. We have three layers, one called Hello World layer, one called load layer and one called game layer. They are identical apart from the name and the background color. Hello World layer has a red background, load layer has a green background and game layer has a blue background. Our task is to create three scenes and go between them. The three scenes are Hello World scene, which is our start scene, a loading scene and a game scene. And our plan is to use CC Director methods push scene, replace scene and pop scene. Let's go to the documentation. Find CC Director and here are our methods. Let's take a look at push scene. Suspends the execution of the running scene, pushing it on the stack. And the new scene, which you provide as an argument, will become the running scene. We can also go to a new scene without pushing the current scene on the stack. In that case, we would use replace scene. We have also pop scene, which pops out the scene that we previously pushed on the stack. Let's go back to Hello World layer. We want something we can click on. And the simplest way is via CC menu item font. Let's paste it in the code. Here is a text called start game. And here is a selector called go to load scene. We then add the menu item to a menu, which we add to the layer. So when the user clicks on the menu item, the go to load scene method will be invoked. Let's write it. 
void, go to load scene, and what do we want to do? We want to call the load layer scene. So let's first import load layer dot h. Go back. We want our CC director object. So we write CC director shared director and then send the message push scene to it with the argument load layer scene build and run click on start game it goes to the load scene stop let's copy and paste change the background color back to green and now instead of start game we will use loading and as the selector go to game scene change the name of the method and this time we do not want to push scene because we don't need to keep the load scene around so we use replace scene and the new scene is game layer scene we also need to import game layer dot h build and run click on start game we are in the loading scene click on loading and we go to game scene stop let's copy go to the game layer paste change to blue background and now change the text to end game and the selector to go to hello world scene change the method name and on our stack we already have a hello world scene so we only need to pop scene to get it back build and run start game loading end game it works go back to load layer delete the menu font item and use a normal label paste the code and then call a method that will simulate the loading in of resources i have called it load resources but you can call it whatever you want 
let's write that method we can paste it in we create a sprite change its position set a counter to zero then scale our bar in the x direction and the scaling size is determined by the counter here we are changing the anchor point that's because we want the left edge of our bar to be fixed and then we add the bar to the layer the bar sprite has to be declared as an instance variable and the counter as well so let's go to the interface cc sprite bar and float time counter back to implementation in order to test it give it a non-zero value for instance 0 0.2 build and run start game and we stop here and we see that our bar has appeared go back change the counter back to zero and schedule some calls self schedule selector let's call it ink time and the interval is say 20 times per second that amounts to 0 0.05 seconds let's paste this ink method we first check that the counter is less than 2 and in that case we increment the counter and scale our bar otherwise we unschedule and go to game scene which we already have here let's test this start a game it starts loading we automatically go to game scene where we can click on the item and game to go back to the start scene let's do something more fun when it comes to the game layer itself move this item a little more down the location is calculated from the center of the screen so in order to move it to the right and down we can take ccp 120 minus 120 now we'll paste in some code this is a rotating camel image and as you can see we are rotating forever let's build and run here is our start scene we start it loads in the resources and it starts the game when we are done we go back to the starting scene let's run it once again oh 
Okay, thank you for watching.